Good afternoon. My name is Greg Canfield, and I'll ask everyone that's joining us uh, here on the stage to please be seated. We want to welcome everyone. Uh, I am happy to serve as Governor Ivey's Secretary for the Department of Commerce here in the state of Alabama. I'd like to welcome everyone who made the journey to be here today to hear about a development that will have a major economic impact on Alabama's future. This is indeed a great day for Alabama and a great day for the Huntsville region. Today, I am honored to share the stage with leaders of two of the world's most innovative companies. And they represent a little project that we came to know as Project New World. I'm going to be introducing each of them, as well as the other distinguished guests and individuals that are sharing the stage as they come forward to make remarks. Over the years, Alabama has been fortunate to secure economic development projects that I would describe as transformational. These projects only come around every two or three years at the most, and they are hotly contested. They're the kind of projects that would win you a national championship, <laughs> if there were such a thing in economic development. They're the kind of project that certainly change the trajectory, not only of communities, but of states. And I'm thrilled today to say that we are announcing today one of those transformational projects. It's my pleasure to introduce and welcome Alabama Governor Kay Ivey who will share the good news with us now. Governor Ivey. Thank you so much. Thank you all for being here today. Today is indeed a great day in the great state of Alabama and I am honored that all of you are here to share this event with us. Growing businesses and creating opportunities for Alabamians is a process, and a process that today I am so proud that we are celebrating. As governor, it's my desire to help the people of Alabama achieve their dreams and better provide for their families. I've pledged to increase employment opportunities for Alabamians today and for future generations. This is what today is all about, bringing job opp opportunities to our people and helping companies grow and prosper. As governor, it is my honor and privilege to announce that Toyota and Mazda have chosen Alabama as the home of their new production plant. Thank you, they deserve that. These fine companies have pledged to invest $1.6 billion in Alabama and to bring 4,000 new jobs at an average salary of $50,000. Production will begin in 2021 and will eventually reach 300,000 vehicles annually. This is indeed a great day in Alabama.
Today's announcement marks an expansion of Toyota's presence in Alabama, and it marks Mazda's very first production facility in North America. We are honored, Alabama is truly honored, to have been chosen for this project. Having been selected is a testament to our workforce and our, the people of our state, and the quality of our workforce. And this announcement would not have happened had it not been for teamwork. Teamwork at the state level with the local and county level, it just wouldn't have happened. When economic success occurs, it's because there is true teamwork with one goal in mind. And I certainly appreciate the fine work of Secretary Greg Canfield and his staff at Commerce, working with my staff. It's been a great joy to be a part of this huge project. And I'm also very glad to have Mayor, Mayor Tommy Battle here with us today. He's been an invaluable part working at the local level in Huntsville along with Limestone County Commission Chairman Mark Yarbrough. Today would also not have been possible had it not been for the legislative delegation from the Tennessee Valley area, and we are proud to have y'all here with us today. Alabama is proud and honored to partner with two very distinguished auto manufacturers. Toyota and Mazda are distinguished and they give such a compliment to the great state of Alabama as we continue to become the leader in auto manufacturing. And to my friends at Toyota and Mazda, thank you for choosing Alabama. Thank you for investing not only in our great state, but also in our people. When our people are given the opportunity to work, they'll do so with vigor and pride. Thank you for believing in the potential of our people in the great state of Alabama. And I look forward to joining y'all again after you get your building up and running, and then again when y'all announce an expansion. <laughs> so thank you again to Toyota and Mazda. Thank you so much, and welcome to Sweet Home Alabama. Thank you, Governor Ivey. Your leadership has been vital to the efforts to bring great companies like this to the state, and Toyota and Mazda is the latest and greatest in a line of great companies that have chosen Alabama. We're very excited about this, and Governor, we appreciate your leadership and contribution. It's my pleasure now to introduce a new friend someone who is going to become a fast friend of the state of Alabama for a long lasting and growing relationship. Mr. Masamichi Kogai, President and CEO for Mazda Motor Corporation, a company that's beginning its second century of operation. Kogai-san, let me say that Alabama is proud to be a part of your company's future and its strategic plans in North Alabama. I welcome you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for coming today. I would like to thank Governor Ivey for having us here. Also, uh, I appreciate all of the other state government and community leaders who have joined us today. I wanted to come here myself today to tell the people of Alabama about a new plan as soon as possible and ask for your warm welcome. It is a great honor to announce that Toyota and Mazda will be building a new vehicle plant here. I'd like to express our sincere appreciation 
to the people of Alabama and Huntsville for their support. We also want to thank Toyota and all the other parties involved in this process. Without their help, this project could not have gotten off to such a great start. Mazda is a company with a long history. We were established in 1920, and in two years, we will celebrate 100 years since our founding. And we started selling cars in America in 1970, which means that 2020 will also mark 50 years of Mazda in America. 2021, when our plant is due to start operations, will mark the start of another 100 years of Mazda and our next half century in America. How wonderful to bring this plant online in such a landmark year to start manufacturing and enhance sales in this great country and to work toward Mazda's future growth while contributing to the economies of the local community and America at the same time. To achieve this, Toyota and Mazda will use the full extent of our combined technological capabilities to make this cutting-edge plan that boasts world-class efficiency and quality levels. And we will supply vehicles of the highest quality to people all over America. Mazda makes cars with a clear vision of how we want to inspire people, contribute to society, and help preserve the beauty of the earth. By making such cars here in Alabama, we hope that over time, our plant will come to occupy a special place in the heart of our employees and the local community. By making this plant a vibrant part of that community. We hope to work, learn, and grow together with the people of Alabama and Huntsville. In closing, let me say thank you once again for the opportunity to build an old plant here. Alabama and Huntsville have given us a warm welcome Toyota and Mazda will work hard together, inspire each other, and become good corporate students of this state. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Kogai, thank you very much. Well, for many of you, it's not news that Toyota uses Alabama as its home base to produce engines. We've had a very strong and developing partnership for the past little over 15 years. We're very happy to see this global leader further expanding its presence in our state in a most significant way. We welcome Akio Toyota, the president of Toyota Motor Corporation, to address us today. And I will have to say, Toyota, Mr. Toyota, it is so good to see you again. We, we, you were very gracious whenever you hosted the Alabama delegation in your headquarters in 2013, 
and it made uh, a very indelible memory in, in our visit to Japan. We're very happy to continue this relationship and look forward to the future. Mr. Toyota-san. Good afternoon, and thank you for joining us today. I'm very honored and excited to be here to announce a new investment in Alabama, together with Mr. Kogai of Mazda. I would like to thank Governor Ivey for having us here in Alabama, as well as other state and community leaders for joining us in celebration of what will surely be a very exciting project for all of us. Being here today feels like a homecoming for Toyota and for me personally. You probably know that Alabama is already home to hundreds of our team members who built 700,000 engines per year for North American vehicles in a plant in Huntsville. Something you may not you may not know is that Alabama is also the very first state where I stayed when I was in a young boy. I was a Boy Scout at the time, and this was my first extended stay away from home, so I was a little nervous. <laughs> but thanks to the famous Southern hospitality, my first experience in America was a success and remained quite special to me. I'm very proud to be back in Alabama today. When Toyota and Mazda announced our intention to build a new plant in the U.S. last summer, I said that two things brought the companies together, the love of cars and love of hometowns. While cars get our hearts pumping, hometowns make the success of our endeavors. We are proud of where we come from, of course, but as we expanded our business globally, every place where we operate has become our hometown. Whenever I visit one of those hometowns, there is one thing I always say to the leaders I meet. I appreciate your people. Even though our local operations have fostered talent, and creative values. Our team members joined Toyota after having been educated and trained in their respective communities. They come to work every day because they lead fulfilling lives in the towns around the plant. That's why I believe a hometown is critical for sustainable growth. So today, I would like to express my gratitude to the people of Huntsville and the other communities around the new site for welcoming us. Our success will only be achieved if we work together with your hometowns and their people. Together, we'll care for this new plan, fostering it and planting the seeds for future generations. Together, I am confident will create yet another built in America success stories. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Toyota. We're excited about Alabama becoming home to the Toyota Mazda joint venture. This manufacturing plant will set the pace of the future of these two companies. And we're glad that Alabama has been chosen to help chart part of that future for these two great companies. To our new friends at Mazda and our old friends at Toyota, I want to say welcome. We can't wait to see Made in Alabama and those vehicles rolling down your assembly lines. 
We all know that Huntsville will be playing home to this new facility, as well as being cradled in Limestone County, Alabama. Huntsville, known as Alabama's Rocket City, has a vibrant economy that's much like a launch pad. I have no doubts that the Toyota Mazda manufacturing facility will take the city to new heights. Mayor Tommy Battle, it's always a pleasure to work with you and the great team for the city of Huntsville. It's a strong partnership that has had great success. I welcome you to the podium. Mayor Battle. Gentlemen. Good afternoon. You know, it's an honor to be here to announce such a game-changing project for Huntsville and for all of Alabama. And I want to give a warm welcome to Mr. Toyota and Mr. Kogai. Thank you for being here. You honor us by being here. And we are truly honored that you have joined us. You know, we've been working with your project team over the past five months, and it's certainly been a fast five months, filled with many a conference call, over 30, maybe 40 development agreements. Is that right, Megan? Uh, uh, late, night, late night trying to assemble data and put together a win-win, a win-win for both Huntsville and Toyota and the state of Alabama. And today we come about and we make the announcement and we celebrate. But the celebration today is just the beginning of the hard work. And we will all face that hard work together and we'll face it as a team. I'd like to thank Governor Ivey and Steve and Secretary Greg Canfield for another outstanding partnership. Thank you to both of you. I also want to thank our regional partners, Chairman Mark Yarborough of the Limestone County Commission. Mark is my lucky rabbit's foot. We have not lost one yet with Mark. <laughs> Chairman Dale Strong with the Madison County Commission. Dale, thank you. Chairman Ray Long of the Morgan County Commission. Ray, thank you. Uh, Mayors Ronnie Marks and Paul Finley. Ronnie's from Athens and Paul is from Madison. Thank you for your support in this, making this process, this progress happen. And to my colleagues on the Huntsville City Council, Mark Russell, Jenny Robinson, Will Culver, Bill Kling, and Devin Keith, you are tremendous partners and you help make us do what we need to do. Another partner in this project was TVA and its president, Bill Johnson. Bill, thank you so much for being here. And thank you for your help in pulling this through and getting this put together. And to Chip Cherry in the Chamber of Commerce, Chip's in the back, standing up as usual. Chip, thank you for your work and thank you to the Chamber of Commerce. And most of all, to the man who put this plan together and kept it on track through lots of uphill travels, Shane Davis, Huntsville's urban developer. Shane is standing in the back as he usually does. He's one of the back men, but he's the one that makes it happen. Shane, thank you for all your work. You know, when Toyota first came to Huntsville in the early 2000s, it was called Project Diamond. And what a fitting name. We knew the project was valuable, it would be lasting, and it symbolized high quality. And we were right. Toyota has been a Diamond corporate team member for a long time. No matter where you look, Toyota is there, working thousands of hours in service to the community, donating millions of dollars to local nonprofits, providing enhanced quality of life through meaningful employment and promoting the image of Huntsville. We find ourselves nearly two decades later announcing another monumental occasion for our community with an equally fitting name, Project New World. The automotive industry is undergoing an inflection point and it's no longer an industry of cars, trucks, or SUVs. It's an industry about mobility. It's the marriage of artificial intelligence, connectivity, sustainable energy, and autonomous technology. This creates an opportunity to challenge the world's best and brightest to come up with new technologies that we are only beginning to understand. And I'm proud to say that Huntsville will be playing a role in the evolution of this industry. And I'm even prouder to say that we're do, do, moving forward with two forward-looking innovative companies, Toyota and Mazda. We are truly embarking on a new world. Pushing the edge of technology is what Huntsville does, and it's what we've done for the past five decades. When President John F. Kennedy challenged this nation to put a man on the moon and bring him back safely, 
It was Huntsville that answered the call to develop the most advanced space systems the world had ever seen. When our nation was attacked on 9-11 and we entered the global war on terrorism, it was Huntsville that developed new aviation platforms and missile systems that gave our brave men and women in uniform an unqualified advantage over those who wish to do us and our allies harm. It's this foundation that we're building upon now as we look to the future. With this partnership between Huntsville, Alabama and Toyota and Mazda, we are adding to that legacy of developing the technologies for the mobility era. We are truly embarking on a new world. We would do this together, and we would do this together as partners. And this is a legacy project, a legacy project that will affect our community and state for decades to come. Gentlemen, you believe in our community, our workers, in our vision for the future, and we believe in you. This project is an affirmation of the foundation blocks we put into place years ago in Huntsville. Indeed, 10 years ago, we optioned this property to be a mega site for industry. We partnered with TVA, Bill, and to do the due diligence on this site so that a five-month project could actually work. Very seldom can you find a five-month project that can be put together as quickly as this. We laid the foundation blocks for success, and with this announcement, this site is now a foundation block of the success and the success of the past. But it's also going to be built upon to be a success of even the bigger future. We will continue to lay foundation blocks for the next generation. And today, as we set these foundation blocks, these foundation blocks will pay off for years and decades to come. Mr. Toyota, we are reminded about your family and the many foundation blocks your relatives have put in place going from a producer of innovative textile looms to some of the finest automobiles in the world. We remember Tessuro Toyota, who recently passed away. What an innovative thinker. He was responsible for Toyota's tremendous growth, and I think he would be proud of the foundation block you are laying in Huntsville, Alabama, and the long legacy you will be creating to advance the reputation of the Toyota name and the company your family created. Thank you. While no one can know for certain what the future will hold, I know one thing is certain. We have the right team. We are the right community, and we will achieve the right things together. Domo arigato, and welcome home to Huntsville, Alabama. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, Mayor Battle. Well, while the plant is located in the Huntsville city limits, as I said earlier, it is cradled in Limestone County. That's an area where there's been a great deal of growth that's been taking place. Uh, the Toyota Mazda facility will add substantially to that growth story. Mark Yarbrough, as I understand, the lucky rabbit's foot. <laughs> Chairman of Limestone County Commission, please come forward. Thank you. Thank you. You know, in the last three, all, three years that I've been in office, I have been so incredibly blessed to be attend several of, the, several of these announcements. Polaris, GE Aviation, Shape Corporation, Bocar. And in all those announcements, we've welcomed new friends to Limestone County. Well, today, we get to do that, Mr. O'Guy, with Mazda, and we get to welcome a neighbor, Mr. Toyota, with Toyota. To welcome home to Limestone County. Governor Ivey, thank you. Now my only wish is that thank you is taken as heartfelt as I mean it because it's not possible without you. Your continued commitment and the state's commitment to the people of Limestone County in North Alabama, thank you. I want to touch on the team. I would not be able to stand up here today without my commission. Commissioner Steve Turner, Commissioner Jason Black, Commissioner Stanley Hill, Commissioner Ben Harrison. This team that Mayor Battle talked about that we put together on a local level, and it consists represented David, uh, well, my, my economic development director, David Seibert, state representative Danny Crawford, 
my lifelong friend since childhood, Chairman Dale Strong, mentor and good friend, Chairman Ray Long from Morgan County, members of the Madison County Commission here, Paul Finley, City of Madison Mayor, my cohort and running body from our county seat, City of Athens Mayor Ronnie Marks, Tom Hill, our Economic Development Director, Tom Sis, Limestone County Superintendent of Education, Dr. Trey Holliday, Athens City School System, all come together with one common good to help create 4,000 opportunities for our citizens to get a job and provide for their families. You know, that's what it's all about. That's what we all want. It's, it's, the, it's the building block. It's where we start from. But I was in Atlanta Monday night, and I think we all found you got to have a quarterback. And our quarterback's Mayor Tommy Battle. Let me tell you, Mayor, I appreciate you, brother. The, the relentless commitment that you show when you start is second to none. Now, also discussing those phone calls, but this is a great day. It's a great day for Limestone County. It's only going to get better. Our success is tied to your success, and we're going to make sure it happens. Thank you so much. Thank everybody for the attendance. Welcome home to Limestone County. Thank you, Chairman Yarbrough. Well, for our new friends from Toyota and Mazda, I'm going to ask you to bear with me because this is such an important day and there are so many individuals and organizations, some of which have been named, uh, but I think that it is most appropriate at the state level to recognize as best we can the team that helps make this happen. And there are a number of organizations and individuals whose contributions have helped bring this day to fruition. So I'm going to briefly recognize them. The Honorable Takashi Shinazuka, the Consul General of Japan, welcome. Mark Jackson, Mark Jackson, the Honorary Consul General of Japan. Mark, good friend. You've already heard his name, Paul Finley, Mayor of the City of Madison. Paul, thank you, Mayor. We appreciate everything that you do. Ronnie Marks, the Mayor of the City of Athens. Ray Long, Chairman of the Morgan County Commission. Dale Strong, welcome. The Chairman of the Madison County Commission. A new entrant to the Board of Directors at TVA, uh, we welcome Skip Thompson and Bill Johnson, CEO of TVA, and your team. I think I see my counterpart, John Bradley, in the back. John, welcome, and Happy New Year. Uh, Jim Searcy, Executive Director of, where is he? I know he's here, EDAA, representing the economic developers across the state. Steve Spencer, president of EDPA, thank you for the work that you do. Rick Tucker, president of the Port of Huntsville, we thank you. Limestone County Commissioners, thank you for your work on this project. And Madison County Commissioners, thank you as well. Uh, Daniel Martinez uh, and the Norfolk Southern team who is here, thank you so much for your partnership on this important project. Meredith O'Connor, you ran us through the ring from JLL, but you really helped us bring it home, so thank you. Members of the Alabama House of Representatives, my former colleagues, you helped set the stage to create the appropriate business climate in the state of Alabama, and that is what helps make announcements like today happen. So stay strong and help us stay focused on continuing those efforts. Members of the Alabama Senate, thank you. Representatives of Alabama's congressional delegation who are here with us, we thank you for your work and for that of the work of our good congressmen and women and our senators across, uh, across in Washington, D.C. My fellow members of Governor Ivey's cabinet who are with us today, would you please stand so you can be recognized and we appreciate all the work that you do. So if you're a cabinet member, please stand. Thank you for your work. 